Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin all praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the universes. All praises are due to Allah, who is the first, the last the manifest, the hidden, the one who has might and power over all things. And may all peace and blessings be upon the Sultan of creation, the master of the messengers, the Imam of the prophets, the mercy to the universes, the beloved of Allah, Sayyidina Muhammad wassalam. O believers, welcome to you on this holy day of Juma, in the holy month of Rabul Awal. Welcome to you on a day that is praised by the Holy Prophet والسلام, that he's saying in this Hadith al Sharif. On the day of Juma, the angels stand at the entrance of the masjid <coughs> in which Juma Salah is to be offered. They write down the name of the person who enters the masjid first, and after that, the name of the person who follows, and they continue doing this. The person who enters first will receive the reward of sacrificing a camel in the way of Allah. The one who followed him will get the reward of sacrificing a, a bull, after which a chicken, thereafter the reward of giving an egg as charity in the path of Allah. And once the khutbah starts, the angels, they close the register and they begin listening to the khutbah. Understand that one day we will be brought to account for the way that we live in this world. All believers, understand that one day we will be brought to account for the day that we live in this world, for the way that we live in this world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying in the Holy Quran that on the day of judgment, 
The people will come forward in separate groups to be shown their deeds. Whoever has done an atom's weight of good will see it. But whoever has done an atom's weight of evil will see it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us in Surah Al-Mu'minun saying, Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Then did you think that we created you use, uselessly and that to us you would not be returned? Therefore, exalted be Allah, the King, the reality. There is no ilah but He, the Lord of the throne of honor. And Holy Prophet والسلام, is describing the day of judgment, saying, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will meet a person and ask him, O person, wasn't I generous with you and made you with a wife and made the horses and camels at your disposal? The servant will reply, yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will then ask, did you think that you will meet me? He will reply, no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, I will forget you like you forgot me. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will meet another person and his reply will be the same as the first person. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will meet a third person and will ask similar questions and the person's reply will be, Ya Rabbi, I believe in you, in your books. And in your messengers, I prayed, I fasted, and I gave charity. And he will praise Allah as much as he can. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say, Hold on to your words. Now we will bring the witnesses. Then that person's mouth, it will be sealed. And his thighs, his flesh and bones will be asked to speak. And they will speak about his bad deeds. He will know that he has no excuse. That is the hypocrite Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be furious with. O oh believers, while we have time in this world, we must prepare and protect ourselves for that day that is certainly coming. And one of the things that harms people and destroys people the most on the day of judgment is their tongue. The Holy Prophet is saying in this Hadith Sharif, a person utters a word thoughtlessly. As a result of this, he will fall down into the fire of hell deeper than the distance between the east and the west. So if we want to protect ourselves from that kind of falling, if we want to protect ourselves from certain disaster, we must guard our tongues because the sins of the tongue they destroy people in the next life. Holy Prophet is saying during the Mi'raj I saw a group of people who were scratching their chests and faces with very sharp copper nails and I asked who are these people? Ya Jibril. Jibril replies these are the people who ate flesh of others. These are the people who were backbiting. And they trampled people's honor. The ones who came before us, they were so careful about their tongues. Hazrat Umar al-Faruq radiallahu an, one time, he saw Hazrat Abu Bakr al-Siddiq. And Hazrat Abu Bakr was holding his tongue and was pulling on it. Hazrat Umar became shocked and said, Ya Abu Bakr, what are you doing? And Hazrat Abu Bakr replied, It is this tongue, this tongue that brings a man into endless troubles. And the whole body of a man is fearing from the evil of that tongue. Holy Prophet is saying, When the son of Adam gets up in the morning, all the limbs, all the parts of his body, present themselves before the tongue and say, Fear Allah for our sake because we are with you. If you are straight, we will be straight. And if you are crooked, we will become crooked. O believers, we should ask 
about our tongues. Do we have straight tongues? Or do we have crooked tongues? And when we speak, do we speak the truth? Or are we those who use our tongues in a sneaky way to tell lies and to make excuses? Are we using our tongues to protect and defend each other? Or is our tongue like a sharp sword that is attacking our brothers and sisters for every small thing? Are we guarding this tongue and making it only come near the halal things? Or are we using this tongue to eat the flesh of our dead brothers? If we ask ourselves, if we sincerely ask ourselves, right away we will know the answer. As our Shaykh Sahib al Saif, Qadazullah Sir, is saying, Are you opening your mouth, using your tongue to bring yourself to fire? Or you are opening your mouth to say something that gives benefit to others? As the Holy Prophet is saying, either speak something that will give benefit to others or else keep silent. Don't speak until Judgment Day if it's necessary. If you are not going to speak something that is good, that is going to give benefit to others, then keep your tongue for yourself because man is suffering from two parts of his body in the Judgment Day. He is committing all sins, all wrong things, with two main parts of his body. One is his tongue and the other one is his private parts. Watch how you are using these. Inshallah, we should stay in the association of the friends of Allah because they will teach us how to use our tongues. As Holy Prophet is saying, do not pass your limits in talking too much. Do not pass your limits in talking too much. Except when remembering Allah. Too much talking, excessive talking, without the remembrance of Allah, it will harden your heart. And those who are the furthest from Allah are those whose hearts, they are hard. The association of the friends of Allah, the association of our Shaykh, it is the association of remembering Allah. Inshallah, if we stay in this association, we will be those who guard our tongues and protect ourselves from the punishment of the tongue this life and the next life. Astaghfirullah, 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 Nazim Al-Azim, La ilaha illa wa al-hayyul kaimati wa lahi. La ilaha illa Allah wahda wa la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk Allah al-hamdi ithna alaikum li shayin kadir. La ilaha illa Allah wahda wa la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk Allah al-hamdi ithna alaikum li shayin kadir. La ilaha illa Allah wahda wa la sharika lah, lahu al-mulk Allah al-hamdi ithna alaikum li shayin kadir. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك كنت من الظالمين صبح كدوس ربنا رب الملائكة وروا صبح كدوس ربنا رب الملائكة وروا صبح كدوس ربنا رب الملائكة وروا إن دين عند الله الإسلام قام سلام الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر أكبر لا إله إلا الله شو لا إله إلا الله Eşhedü en ne Muhammed'e Resulullah, eşhedü en ne Muhammed'e Resulullah, ya Allah'a selam, 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 ya Allah'a selam,